Julie Sachuk here to talk to you again about grab bars. I've got two different grab bars in this bathroom and I want to show you that not all grab bars are created equal and you know there are some that work in some situations and some that don't. So I'm going to have to transfer onto the toilet to show you the difference between these these two bars. And they're often in the upright position, so it means I have to move them down. So this one pulls down, and if I were in my chair, I would be able to reach and do that. This one actually locks in place, so I have to lift up to pull it down, which I can't do when I'm seated in my wheelchair. I don't have the reach and the strength to do that. So a bar that locks up in place is useful in some situations, like where um, a, a caregiver might be involved and the person sitting on the toilet, you don't want them to pull down the grab bar, so you wanna keep it locked up and out of place until it's ready to be used. But in a situation like this, having one that locks means a person who's you know at the front of the toilet can't just pull it down to make it useful. So that's the tricky part of this. And this bar, I wanted to show you that both the bottom bar and the top bar are, be, are able to be used because they're slightly on an angle from one another. So if this is the right height for you for a transfer or for support, then you can use that because your arm has space because of the offset, whereas here, you can't get that same angle. Um, the other reason why there's drop down on both sides of the toilet is because of the distance from the wall. So the center line of the toilet is farther than um, what would make an L bar useful. It's too far, you'd be reaching too far and putting um, strain on your shoulder to do a transfer that way. So. That's why they did the two fold down bars. They were repurposed bars, which is why they're two different ones. And I also want you to see that behind the toilet, <laughs> the toilet's running. Behind the toilet, they have put up some backing so that there was a solid attachment for the grab bar instead of um, you know trying to find the stud and then placing the grab bar where the stud is or just screwing it into the drywall, which of course never works. Um, the backing goes all the way behind the toilet and both the grab bars are screwed into the backing to provide support. So there's some um, more information that you wanted to know about full down grab bars.